We're here with our unsung heroes from mass transit, and in particular, the unsung hero of the I-95 response, the team from SEPTA. SEPTA's regular job is moving people with the fifth largest system in the United States. When I-95 exploded, SEPTA stepped up, just increased its services. There's no hesitation, no blips, no glitches. So SEPTA's been there for us, and now we need to be able to step up and be there for them. Harrisburg can't ham and haw. We can't say, uh, yeah, but no. The funding flexibility in the local revenue generation is essential to the survival of public transit, and public transit is essential to the survival of our economic growth. Passing this bill is going to give Philadelphia and the surrounding counties ability to support one of the largest people moving systems in the country. And out west, our folks in Allegheny are going to also see a similar benefit for their system as well. And what these options provide is more opportunity. We need to leverage historical federal investment from the bipartisan infrastructure law, which, as my colleagues in SEPTA have already pointed out, is going to close out relatively soon. We only got about two and a half years of that funding left, and there's a lot of money that we don't want to leave on that table. For those who look at this and say, oh, you know what, you're, you're just going to be helping Philly and Pittsburgh. No. It's also about helping the entire state. SEPTA has contracts with manufacturers and suppliers all over Pennsylvania. When we invest in mass transit, we do allow this expansion of both local and regional economies to happen. And if we're going to do that, when we help Philly and Pittsburgh with this bill and help some of the other up-and-coming municipalities, we're going to be helping the entire Commonwealth.